joins us live from Baghdad. What's the scene there, Malani? Well, good morning, Allison. Uh, that's right. Two massive explosions just moments apart here in Baghdad. At least 83 people killed, more than 250 people wounded, apparently targeting these two government buildings. Now we have cell phone video from the scene uh, caught by a bystander. Here in our bureau, we saw this thick black smoke rising, and even though these explosions were some distance away, our building shook. Iraqi authorities say these were car bombs exploding near the Justice Ministry in the Baghdad Provincial Headquarters. Not not far from the heavily guarded green zone. The U.S. Embassy in Baghdad says two American security contractors were injured and American security contractors were seen at the site helping the wounded. A Shiite politician reported that at least 25 staff for the Baghdad Provincial Council were killed. Now, this, the last time we saw these major uh, massive attacks in Baghdad, August 19th, those attacks killed more than 100 people, targeting two other government buildings, the finance and foreign ministries, shows the insurgents are continuing to stage these high-profile attacks in downtown Baghdad, perhaps to test the Iraqi security forces, also perhaps to influence uh, the political process with elections coming up in January. Allison, Dave, Clayton, back to you. Oh, Malini, please stay safe yeah. there. Unbelievable pictures this morning. We'll check back with you a little bit later. But now let's get to Rick.